Hello everyone, it's Chef Jazzy John. I hope your holiday season has had a great start. So today we're gonna to do a special holiday dish. We will be doing a stuffed salmon dish. Stuffed salmon, with salmon any kind of way is always an elegant dish. But today we're gonna to do a nice seafood stuffing on top of the salmon. So let's get started, let's get right into this. So today I have a two pound salmon. If you've had something a little less or a little bit more, then we just know to adjust our recipe. So let's get started. Let's go down the rest of the list. So this is 10 ounces of crab meat, just some white crab meat. You can use lump crab, you use claw crab, you use blue crab, whatever type of crab that you would like. So also next, this is six ounces of cream cheese, softened cream cheese. This is a tablespoon of mayonnaise, not salad dressing, but mayonnaise. This is a half a cup of chopped spinach and a half a cup of shredded mozzarella. And then we have one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. We have two tablespoons of panko bread crust. And then we have a quarter teaspoon, or as I always tell you, whatever, you know, season to your liking. But it's a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So let's get right into this. Also, I would like to say, I decided to use a whole salmon today. If you want to use fillets, you can either buy fillets or you can take a whole salmon and just fillet it yourself. I'm gonna leave mine whole, but I'm gonna just make some scores so that you can see it's really easy to cut, no big deal. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna take all of our ingredients and start to combine them together. So we're gonna take the 10 ounces of crab meat. So if you have a smaller salmon, then you maybe use like just four ounces of crab meat or eight ounces of crab meat. I'm sorry, about eight ounces of crab meat. And then we have six ounces of softened cream cheese. I'm gonna put all that in the bowl. Then we have one egg. You can just kind of mix it up a little bit before you stir it in. Okay, we have one stirred egg. Okay, and then we have the chop the half a cup of chopped spinach and I like using fresh spinach because sometimes you use the frozen spinach it'll get too watery and we have our tablespoon of mayo okay and then we have our half a cup of mozzarella cheese okay and then we have our our teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. I'm gonna just put all that in there. And then we just stir all this up together. Make sure it's really nicely stirred. And so this is gonna be the topping. So basically you're gonna be using everything except for your panko bread crust. <clears throat> that will come on last. You'll be adding that on at the last item. Just keep stirring this around till it's a very nice consistency. Make sure everything is all blended together. That's why it's definitely important that your cream cheese is softened because you want all this to be blended in very, very well because this is basically gonna be like a spread on top of your salmon. So just make sure. I didn't chop the spinach real small because I kind of like to see. I'm a texture kind of person. So I like to see the spinach. I didn't want it chopped up. And then spinach always shrinks when you cook it anyway. Okay, so that looks really, really good. Okay. So I'm gonna sit that aside for a second. And now I'm gonna take my salt and pepper and put it on my salmon. Just kind of shake it over there real good. I actually have a little bit more than a quarter cup because I like pepper. Okay, but I definitely have just a quarter cup of salt because I, me or no one else needs a lot of salt, and that's for sure. And then also there's a little salt in the Old Bay seasoning. And I'm just kind of taking and rub it a little bit, just to make sure that I've distributed all of my seasoning red very, very well. Okay, there we go. So now we take our stuffing we're gonna spread it out this is another reason I like doing the whole salmon because when you do the fillets 
you have to make sure that you proportion it out, but this way you just kind of spread the whole salmon at one time. Like I said, whatever is easier for you, you know, you may just be you and one other person. It wouldn't really make sense to buy a whole salmon, so. And as you see, this is definitely plenty. So I'm put it all on the sides. This is actually a really easy dish. Because once you have the stuffing made, you just put the salmon in the oven. And I meant to tell you to make sure that you have your oven on 350 degrees preheated. Kind of late to tell you now, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. So turn your oven on 350 degrees. Hope it doesn't take it too long. So this has all that great crab meat. There, uh, the crab meat, the fresh spinach, and then in the mozzarella cheese, there we go, it's like artistry, okay, and I actually want to sprinkle just a little bit of garlic on it, and that's just my preference. If you don't care for garlic, then you don't have to do it. If you want something a little spicier on there, then you can do that. So now we're gonna take our two tablespoons of panko bread crust, and we're just gonna sprinkle it back and forth, all the way down. And this is what makes it have that nice little crispy texture to it. So this is gonna go into the oven for 18 to 22 minutes. And also what you can do, I don't have it over here, but you can actually add just a little bit of water to your baking dish, not lots, because I just actually cooked this dish the other day and I didn't use any water and it was very, very moist. Yeah, I want it to have a real nice little crisp crunch to it. Sorry about that. So just hope everybody's getting ready for Christmas or your holiday, whatever it may be. It's just a nice time that you get with family and friends and be grateful and be thankful for everything that we have, all the opportunities, because the last couple years has been pretty trying, <laughs> to say the least. So actually, while this is cooking, I'm also going to prepare some side dishes. I'm going to just do a uh, baked potato and some steamed broccoli. It's okay. And then it has the Parmesan, I mean the uh, mozzarella cheese in it. It's got spinach in it. It's full of flavor. It's got a little garlic, salt, pepper, full of flavor. So let's put this in the oven. It's ready, uncovered for, on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And I will be back and we can take a look and see what happens. Okay, we are back. The salmon came out beautiful. I let it cook for approximately 20 minutes. It's got nice browning around the edges. It looks nice and crispy. And I know it's already moist. So let's do our traditional thing. Is that I must not bite. So also on the side, I've also prepared me a nice baked potato and some nice fresh broccoli. So I already kind of sliced it. So I'm going to take this slice right out of here. I was going to have the end, but I decided I want a little bit more. But as you see, it's nice and juicy and succulent. And you see the nice crispness on the top, the cheese. You see the spinach. So let's get that right on my plate. So now it's time for the main event. Let's take a taste of this wonderful, marvelous stuffed salmon. Oh my God, it's so good, uh, even before I taste it. It's succulent, it's kind of cheesy, it's flavorful. Bon appetit. Perfect, absolutely perfect, it's moist. And I didn't even put any water in the pan because actually with the, with the stuffing on top, it actually kind of locks the moisture in. So remember all that. Happy holidays to everyone. Have a happy, 
happy holiday. Chef John.